if you've been watching some of my videos, I've got, I mean, in fact, you can just see them up there. Let me try and stretch. I've got these little wheel brace thing that I made. And that was originally supposed to screw into there or just clip into there, bolts in these little holes. You can just see these two holes there. And it only works when the boat's folded up. Otherwise the wheels hit the, the boat. But I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit, um, it just didn't work, it didn't work very well. And I need to wheel the boat when it's open actually, rather than closed. So I've had a really good idea. Well, actually I didn't have the idea. I have to give this credit to someone I know called Quentin from the Dinghy Cruisers Association. And I put his, um, his uh, channel in the, in, the, uh, in the listing of the video. Um, um, and he told me about this little big canoe uh, system that has wheels and it actually fits onto the bottom here and then you strap it all the way around. So I thought, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> that was the first thing I thought, because it's so simple, but then the best ideas always are. Um, and the second thing I thought was I went and had a look at the products. I can't remember what it was called now, um, but it only really works for canoes. It doesn't seem to work for heavy boats. So I'm gonna make my own. And you can see, I've just got this little bit of wood from the sea hopper, it's one of the side seats. I figure if I can put a piece of wood like this across the side, measure this distance here, maybe here, to put some little blocks of wood up and then put some foam or strap or brace it with a strap maybe and then what we'll do is we'll tack some wheels in here so I'm hoping I can go to B&Q today and get some 25 mil aluminium or stainless steel rod whichever that we've got um, and then we can then actually tack or, or screw down a uh, a, a, a strap that we can just put round and tie up at the top and that will put two wheels here and on the other side there and will actually be brilliant because you could actually put the boat in the water and then you could undo the strap on the inside and pull the whole thing up through the water that would be brilliant um, you wouldn't be able to attach it I guess until you got the boat dry but um, unless you fancy going underwater, <laughs> um, which in half the rivers in this country isn't recommended. Uh, but you, I, I might even test leaving, leaving it on, seeing what difference that makes to the drag of the boat as well. For short trips or something, you might be fine. Okay, so I've got two little pads that I've cut, which is just the same, the width of this. And I've actually found this piece of wood, it's about an inch thick. So it might have a little bit of flex, which I think is what we need. And then all I'm gonna do first and foremost is then attach these blocks to the end here. Now, let me double check this isn't gonna go through. I think two will be enough. So I'm using five by five centimeter screws. And to be honest with you, just for now, I'm just going to put one screw in. They're tight enough just for now. Just put one in just to see where that goes. Although, something's just occurred to me that uh, I put these in the wrong place, haven't I? Because they're supposed to be further in. <laughs> so there we go.
yeah in fact I'm really pleased with that I think that's going to work quite well um, we need to go to B&Q and get some uh, pipe so back from the hardware store uh, I've actually the only thing I could find was this copper pipe 22 mil so I've got my dinghy wheel and that goes on there this is a little bit wobbly but it's the best I can do. Now I know my other wheels that I cut the uh, out of the little hole out of are a bit tighter. So they'll be fine. I think they'll be fine. Um, I've cut it, I've overcut the size at the moment because I've I don't know what width the wheels are. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use these these standard clips. Screw those, I'm gonna screw these in place, and then all I'm gonna do is put this in the middle. I'm going to put two pieces of wood either side to give it some really good lateral support because I don't think these clips will cut it. We'll see, we'll see. I think, mm, yeah, we'll see. And then I may even get another piece of this wood because I've got loads of this sort of old wood, put a piece on the top and then I've got the strap that I can then tack so it's fitted to this and we'll, we'll come round and join in the middle. I've drilled five holes now and they're just going to have screws go through them and that will stop this rotating um the blocks there i've just got to screw those down and those will stop that lateral movement as you're pulling and pushing the boat i think they'll be pretty sound and then all i'm going to do i'm probably just going to pin a little strap on here that will then join on the other side of the boat um, and then the wheels will just slide on here. Um, and then I'll probably use cotter pins or uh, with washers, you know, just to make them spin round, bit of grease. Uh, I think they'll be good to go. So let's get these screwed down as the next job. That's no way is that gonna pull out sideways. And then all I'm gonna do is get some screws to stop this spinning, because at the moment it would spin. Oh, it's got a little screw in there, it would spin. And I wanna try and stop that if I can. And that's pretty much almost the main structure of what I'm trying to achieve here done. So there we go. We just screw these in here, nice and gently. These are probably still not quite long enough, these screws. Don't want to squash. The trouble with copper is it is quite soft. I, I don't actually know how much softer copper is to aluminium so I just don't want to damage them too much but that look at that yeah that's going to be really good nothing came through yeah so that's kind of the basis of it now I've found these washers I've literally got four will they go over I don't think they will no, oh, that's a shame. There might be 20, not 20 mil. And I don't know how I'm gonna, gonna have to find some way of putting a, something in there that, you know, the wheel can rotate against. So we're over here on Fusion 360, and these are gonna be the sort of, the two end, outer end stops that I'm gonna uh, attach to the copper pipe. And the wheel, will be inside them. I've got two washers on eBay, big washers that will sit in here, maybe glue them onto here just for a bit of abrasion resistance. And then these little holes here, we're gonna sink in two little meltable grommet, metal grommets that will sit in there. And then the screw will come in here and tighten this little gap up. So they should tighten quite nicely to the to the copper pipe. Um, you can see if I just, remove the body the 
the basic sketches I've needed are quite easy. So I, this creates the actual body here that you extrude. And then this sketch is on a 90 degree plane, which creates the two sort of settings. So I can extrude a hole through the body if we look there. So I need to do these big holes and then, but I need to do a smaller hole here for the screw to sit on or the screw head to sit on. And then I've just followed those holes through just to help seat the, the little grommets that go in there. So printing one off, that should be ready in about an hour. I've got Cura already printing here. Um, so we'll come back in an hour and see if they fit. I've done the little, I don't even know what you call these, like the, almost like little wheel bearers. So the idea will be there'll be one here and then one here and the wheel will be in the middle. But I think these are a bit thick, to be honest with you. I 3D printed them and they, these are the holes ready for the screws and the grommets to be melted into and they'll just grab there. But I think I'm, I'm going to print them half the width. I don't need them this width. So I've, um, I've made the design a little bit slimmer. Uh, you can see I've, I've literally halved the width of it. I don't think it needs all that bulk. So just one pin going through here or screw. And it's a centimetre thick, I think, there. So here's what it looks like on Cura. And that's actually printing away now. I'm just setting this up now to put the threaded insert in. That's what they're called, not grommets. Threaded inserts, they're brilliant, these things. And it's in there. I don't know if you can make that out. It's just in there. And I've just put a screw, threaded it loosely in, and then moved, squeezed this open. So it will actually now melt in. So the way I do this is I get a little bit, a couple of pair of tweezers here. And I try and do this without burning my hands and without melting the rest of uh, the plastic. So normally you would just get your soldering iron and just tap it on the top and just hold it there until it kind of starts to go and you can see it there, look. But I've got to be very, very careful here because I'm at all kinds of different weird and wonderful angles. But you can see, look, that's melting into the plastic. That's it, that's all we need. So I don't know if you can see that now, it's quite flush. Let's see if we can get a really good shot of that. It's a, the GoPro's not very good at close-ups, really. So that's flush, and then the idea of this is that once uh, you've got this around the pipe, you can just tighten it up with the screw. And these are really, really strong, actually. So one down, three more to go. So I got all four of these done. Uh, I was using the wrong screw, actually, which is why they weren't tightening up. So that's solved that problem. When these are printed on the Ultimaker, they get a really shiny side that's been stuck to the, uh, the glass. And then the top side is a little bit rougher, as you see the the pattern of the uh, the 3D printer nozzle on it. So I'm gonna make sure these smoother sides are out or pointing towards the wheel because that would be better uh, anyway. And then all we gotta do, I just wanna be careful I don't cut myself on the end of this pipe because I've done that before. Uh, I just need to get them, once they're on, there we go, they kind of slide on. They're really tight, which is brilliant. I'm gonna do make sure the screw is there. So let's just give that a tighten up. Whoopsie. Hmm, interesting. Just got the uh, washers in the post. So let's slide that on. There we go, bang on. So they'll just give a little bit of wear resistance. The trick will be epoxying them to the, uh, well, or just gluing them to the uh, 
to the uh, the, the plastic uh, discs and then we're pretty much done right then I made myself a little jig so I've put one of these collars around a little piece of pipe I've cut off the reason for that is I don't want this pipe this thing to stick to the pipe um, I've just cleaned this with acetate and then all I'm gonna do is uh, is glue the ring onto onto the onto the plastic so I'm just gonna get some of this uh, Gorilla Epoxy glue which seems to stick like everything to everything it's great stuff and then we're just going to stick that over get it in the center there we go and that should hopefully give this a little bit of just a little bit of uh you know it's almost like a bit of wear piece if it doesn't we just print another one of these off and we'll be we'll be we'll be done like that but there we go that's that and then we just got to pull that pipe out when it's dry so these have stuck really well here's the other one uh yeah really solid the thought did occur to me after i'd stuck them on that i'm gonna find this one hard to tighten because as it tightens this ring is now glued to the circle so it's not going to be very i'm probably not going to be able to tighten it to be honest with you so i might not worry about putting them on the outer uh section um but i think these are so tight when you put them on that they'll they'll sit there well behaved anyway they don't really need to be super tight and fixed you know that if they moved around a bit that's okay so there we go uh, i've got the other two ready to go and we'll yeah next time i see you about this we'll be on the lake hopefully finishing the uh job